and look at respiratory acidosis. Very simple. Let's break it down. Remember that we said CO2 is acidic. Now, what will cause somebody to develop respiratory acidosis? If somebody has respiratory acidosis, that means that that patient is building up CO2. And so respiratory acidosis, ah, I have to remember, somebody who is not breathing well. Somebody who is not breathing well. So somebody who has slow breathing or very, very shallow breathing. And what are the causes of slow breathing? It could be that the patient is on a, a mechanical ventilator, but the ventilator settings have not been set up well. It could be that the patient has underventilation. It could be that the patient has CNS depression. It could also be that the patient has head injury. So think about all the things which will cause the patient to breathe shallow and therefore build up CO2 in the body, okay? It could be that the patient has taken opiates. It could be that the patient has taken benzodiazepines, illicit drugs, chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, kyphoscoliosis. Therefore, the patient cannot breathe well. Hypoventilation due to obesity. Come on now, if, if you are following me with this. Causes of respiratory acidosis, where we are building up CO2. We got it right. Now, so in respiratory acidosis, what's the equation? Remember, in acidosis, pH is down. And when, we, when will we get respiratory? When CO2 goes in the opposite direction of pH. So pH is down, CO2 is up. Therefore, we don't even need to look at HCO3. If pH is down and CO2 is up, this patient has respiratory acidosis.